Hi, I just wanted to let you know that I came in um, to stay at Robert Smith's house for five days and when I first came I was petrified and angry and depressed and scared and probably every negative emotion you could imagine. You know, I had years and years of, you know, different things happening to me, traumas, and then the final straw that broke the camel's back was a chronic illness um, that I was diagnosed with called Lyme which I didn't know anything about and it shattered my world and I was uh, I went through three years of you know seeking medical treatment very hard um, tr treatment protocols and it was tough and really have realized that so much of this is the emotional part you know, that probably caused me to even go into the Lyme situation because of all the stress. Well, I was traumatized by my Lyme diagnosis, absolutely traumatized, and traumatized by my doctors um, because it just seemed like it was never getting better. So we really worked on those two issues, and I can honestly say that leaving today, I feel, um, well, one of my thoughts in my head was, what if I don't get better? What if I don't get better? What if I don't get better? And that was constantly, you know, talking to my immune system. And he just explained to me and showed me through books and all this kind of stuff, you know, how our brain works. And once I understood what I was doing to myself, then I could stop it. But, you know, so many people would give me advice like, stop scaring yourself. Okay, well, how do I do that? You know, I didn't have the tools. I didn't really understand how the mind worked. I didn't even understand what I was doing. For the people in the Lyme community, I know some of the stuff that we go through can be terrifying. And you really should look at this tool as a way to handle the emotional stuff that goes around your illness. Or if you have a chronic illness, um, the emotional part is such a big part. And there's you know, different kinds of EFT out there, but I can honestly say this one is the one I tried, and as I'm going home, I can't even tell you how much stuff was cleared up, and the great thing about it is now I have a tool that I can do it on myself. I don't have to go to a therapist. I don't have to um, pay a lot of money to see, you know, somebody. I can actually, when I start to experience some trauma, feel it tap, and tap on it and actually clear it so it doesn't come back. And so I highly recommend that you look at all his videos, uh, look at his books and even take his trainings because if you know how to do this, you can save a, a lot of wasted years. And I think that's something I'm gonna have to tap on because I, I feel like, wow, I wish I had done this earlier or sooner, but it's just the way it is. So um, thank you, Robert Smith. And um, I look forward to, I'm gonna continue to do his work and see where I go because um, literally when I came here, I just had experienced so much. I was on a you know, downward spiral. So um, I'm gonna keep learning and um, keep posting videos with Robert and I hope that you really seriously take a look at his work um, because I think it can help everyone, especially if you've gone through traumas. So that's it.